you too, welcome back to Brenda Vader. Welcome back to the channel, man. So look, man, today is one of those reactions where I react to something very scary, bro. So that's what we added to the day. 10 animals that were scarier than dinosaurs, bro. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. I don't know what a 1400 subscribers. Other than that, though, let's get straight to it. No one today can really get a full idea of what it was like to live surrounded by dinosaurs. Well, today we know that some animals like killer whales, alligators, lions, and other big predators can be threatening to us humans. None of them can compare to the danger that dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals represented. Today we're going to be looking at 10 animals that were scarier than dinosaurs, however. You'll realize that dinosaurs were harmless and perhaps even friendly compared to the beasts I'm going to show you today. I'll also talk about some of the movies that fed us ideas of what these animals were like, and I'll compare those ideas to actual facts that will make you understand how real-life creatures were in fact a bit scarier than what we see on the screen. Let's be honest here, some of these creatures belong in a game like Monster Hunter with how terrifying they can be. Stay tuned to number one to find out about an animal that you'll be thankful to know it's gone extinct. Number 10. Arthropleura. I'm gonna start with an animal that was not as big as a dinosaur. In fact, it wasn't even a carnivore, but I'm sure you'd be quite scared and probably a bit gross out if you were to encounter it today. And I'm pretty sure you'd rather see a dinosaur instead of this animal. The Arthropleura was a millipede that could reach lengths of up to 2.5 meters, which means if it were to stand on the lower end of its thousand feet, it would be higher than a Christmas tree. The Arthropleura oh, is known to be... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But what was that, bro? Y'all need to watch that movie, uh, Loving Monsters, bro? That's a pretty good movie, bro the largest invertebrate of all time. With such an aspect, I doubt any predators would want to mess with it. Number 9. Dunkleosteus. Ugh, even the name sounds scary already. If you're wondering what this animal looked like, let me start out by pointing that Dunkleosteus was indeed a fish. That may not sound scary, but of course we're not talking about a cute tropical fish or even a shark like the one from Jaws. In fact, this thing actually ate sharks like Jaws. This prehistoric fish was 33 feet long, which means it was almost twice as long as the height of a giraffe from its head to its feet. What? However, what makes this animal threatening is not only its size, but also its sharp teeth. And also their tech. But I'm telling y'all, bro, so scientists only discover like 10% of the ocean. And I think it's just water and fun, bro. Water and games. But we ain't never go down to the bottom of like the deepest, deepest parts of the ocean where it goes down to like over a thousand feet whatnot bro I'm telling you bro, be some stuff down there but i'll ever watch that movie underwater bro that john will tell you some stuff bro technically not teeth their sharp bone in its jaw that kept growing continuously up until a point where the edges would become so sharp they rubbed together against each other mm. these were useful tools to pierce and chew on the prey this fish was as heavy as a hippopotamus and could easily snatch its prey in less than a second number eight but it goes somewhere Kelopterus. The Jekyllopterus was an aquatic arthropod. The best way to explain it is by pointing out that some people call it a giant sea scorpion and already that's not long like. enough. I mean, can you picture that? Scorpions are scary already. I don't want to imagine what it would be like to come face to face with a giant one in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, but I ain't no swimming away on that thing right there. True. One of us gonna have to die. Look at that, but I'd be so scared though. If something was like that was chasing me, but I'd be so scared I'd just let it have me. Like... What's in here, man? Go ahead and have me, man. Go ahead. It's an experience that would definitely keep me away from the waters for good. The name Jekyllopterus comes from Otto Jekyll, a German paleontologist who was the first one to describe the species. Although its maximum size has not been confirmed, some experts believe the largest Jekyllopterus could have reached a length of up to 2.5 meters, making it taller than humans if it were to stand. No, it ain't. This animal True. is believed to have lived in fresh water, making it a threat to other arthropods and smaller fish. Poor animals didn't stand a chance I against gotta put this the ad creature. Up, Come on, man. Play War Thunder now. Join millions of players across the globe in massive battles. This man played one more ad. We gone. Number seven, Helicoprian. And here's another fish. I don't even look real, bro. Number seven. That ain't even real, bro. Come on, man. Helicoprian. A Helicoprian. And here's another fish on our list, or maybe not. One of the craziest facts about the Helicoprian is that no one has been able to properly classify it and associate it to the animal groups we have today. 
We can say it's a fish because it lived in the water, but paleontologists didn't though. have enough information to categorize it. Its teeth worked like a circular blade. Without any proper teeth in the upper jaw, this creature would gum and bite at you at the same time. That's pretty gross and scary. The lower teeth were sharp, so it's safe to assume that the helicoprion was a carnivore. What scientists can't figure out yet is whether it fed on small or big animals. They can only speculate as they still haven't found any remains of a skull to properly figure out what its diet was. One thing is for sure though, that odd looking jaw is more than enough to scare us all if we were to encounter it in the ocean today. But I kid you not, Mr. Helicoprian Man. I kid you not, bro. If I, if I saw this in the ocean, bro, and I ain't like have nowhere to go, I would probably... What could you do, bro? It's time to die. Hell yeah, you know what I mean? Number sure. six, Liapleridon. I ain't no way. Plesiosaurs and dinosaurs are two different groups of animals. Since they both disappeared around the same time, a lot of people think of them as part of the same family, but they're not. And guess what? The plesiosaur I have for you today is definitely one you want to avoid at all costs. The Liapleridon, or the Liapleridon. Its name comes from the Greek, and it means a smooth-sided tooth. This beast was as heavy as your car and at least half as long as a bowling lane. A quarter of its body was made out of its skull, filled with plenty of razor-sharp teeth. Its fossils also suggest that the monster was a great swimmer, being able to move at high speeds and reach its prey. It's also believed that Liapleridon was able to use its nostrils to scan the water and identify where certain smells were coming from. I'd definitely stay out of the water if this animal was still alive. Number 5 Bro, is that a question? Tell me you would definitely stay out of the water. One. Sarcosuchus. Have you ever been on trips down the swamp wondering when a crocodile will pop out for food? It's definitely crossed my mind when I'm around muddy areas, and I know for sure I don't want to come across any of these animals. Back in prehistoric times, there was such an animal, very similar but more threatening than the crocs we know of today. The Sarcosuchus. Some people call it the Super Croc, and for a good reason. Mm -hmm. It was a very distant relative of crocodiles, but very different in size. The Sarcosuchus was about twice the size of the largest crocodiles we know of today. This beast was so huge that it could easily take on any dinosaur that wanted to mess around. It almost seems like there was almost nothing that its 1.8 meter long skull couldn't take. Are you afraid of crocodiles? Well, imagine getting close to the Super Croc. Number 4. Crazy. Mosasaurus. If you watch Jurassic World, you're probably familiar with the Mosasaur. It's that one monster that jumps out of the water like a killer whale would do at SeaWorld and eat a great white shark. Now again, I have to mention the Mosasaur were not aquatic dinosaurs, they were a totally different species. The most threatening aspect of a Mosasaur is the size. They could reach a size of up to 17 feet long, which is equivalent to three times the size of your fridge. So yes, the Mosasaur in Jurassic World was heavily exaggerated. That thing was bigger than a Megalodon, I think. Although their vision and their smell were not as developed as other creatures at the time, they were still considered dangerous. They had fins that allowed them to easily move through the water and prey on whatever they set their poor eyes on. The first fossils of a mosasaur were found in the Netherlands in 1764, and the most recent were also found in the Netherlands in 2015, by a 14-year-old paleontologist and his father. The fossil was named Lars, after the name of its finder. Wouldn't it be cool to find a prehistoric fossil in your backyard? Probably not, because then science would have to excavate your house, maybe. What I told you, bro. Number we ain't going to number three, but this man keep playing ass. But other than that, though, man, this was crazy, bro. Like, the fact that these animals did exist, bro, I'm glad that they gone. And this guy, to see they gone extinct, man, because if I run into this right here in the water, I will not be in the water, you know what I mean? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well. I don't know what a 1,400 subscribers are than that, though. It's me, Will Quality Camera. Coming, I'm out of stain. Peace out. Love you guys.